last night, um, you know, <clears throat> seeing uh, Ronald Acuna trending, and I'm like, tell me he hit another home run to lead off a game. Tell me that this kid who is homered uh, four times against the um, against the Miami Marlins uh, over the last couple of days, tell me that this kid is going to continue his red-hot streak of hitting home runs to start off a game. And sure enough, I tr- hit what um, what what's uh, what's trending, and I find out that the first pitch of the game was put right in his ribs by Jose Urania. Right in his ribs. It hit him in the left elbow. And I'm f- I tweeted out my first thought, which was, what a bunch of crap. <laughs> what a bunch of crap that this kid, pretty good who thought. is so damn good and so exciting and has baseball fans on the edge of their seat talking about a young player, talking about the Atlanta Braves, which, let's be honest, we haven't really done since the 90s. It's been a while. Okay. And everybody's looking to see whether this kid could do it again. And if he keeps doing it and doing it and doing it, maybe baseball has a chance to even lead, like, newscasts for the first time since, what, 1940? Obviously, I'm exaggerating for effect. And this kid gets one in the back and hits him in the elbow and benches clear and uh, pushing and shoving ensues and bullpens clear with a light jog out from left field, although I'm imagining maybe it was a brisk run for uh, the the Braves because this kid is so good and the Braves have an interesting, if not playoff potential, deep run in them. Who wouldn't want to see Ronald Acuna Jr. and Albies and Freeman in the playoffs and see what these young kids can do? And Jose Urena steps up to the plate and rears back and throws the fastest first pitch he's had all year. And according to ESPN Stats and Info, because everything is a metric these days, it's in the 99th percentile of how fast he's thrown a ball this year. Any ball let alone first pitch at all, 97 right in the back, basically saying, I'm not even going to compete tonight. I'm not competing against you. You're you're tearing us up. Guess what? I'm going to sit you down. And that is a bunch of crap, old school, dinosaur, unwritten rule baseball garbage that should be dealt with in the harshest manner possible by Major League Baseball, this kid, Urena, shouldn't throw another pitch in 2018. Period. End of story. And yes, my daughter's middle name is Mattingly, and I love Donald Arthur Mattingly more than any other player in the history of baseball. He's my favorite. So you could say maybe I'm giving him a pass, but based on the way he was talking yesterday after the game, And based on seeing folks who I follow on Twitter, Brandon McCarthy, who, as we all know, uh, he's a great follow, by the way, veteran pitcher. He tweeted out with one pitch, he pissed off two clubhouses because when you play like that and you get ejected, the rest of the team now has a target on the back of the Marlins jersey that they're wearing. I bet this kid did it by himself. Do you think Mattingly went out there and told him to go hit somebody? And I say this, Don Mattingly had an eight-game home run streak in 1987 that lit up New York City and taught everybody who Dale Long was. Dale Long held the record in the National League, and Mattingly matched it, the all-time record, eight in a row. Dale Long had played baseball in the National League for the Pirates back in the uh, 50s. Not once. Did Mattingly in that eight game home run streak in which he had 10 home runs, not once was Mattingly hit by a pitch. Mattingly was hit by a pitch once the entire season in 1987. So it's not like he was paying it back or forward to the way that he was treated back in 1987. He didn't get hit by a pitch once. And this kid is rearing back and throwing 97 hitting Albies in the back. And Keith Hernandez on the SNY um, Mets broadcast said he this is good baseball this is what you do and with all due respect to Keith and Haji and all of his great 
accomplishments in his career, is not what you do, certainly not anymore. Let's put it this way, it's 2018. And baseball needs kids like Acuna Jr. out there in a batter's box, swinging and capturing fancies. What a bunch of crap. Acuna getting hit by Urena, tilde on tilde violence. That <laughs> must not stand. To start the game, first, first pitch, pitch, perfect, it, first pitch of the game. Come on. You're saying, I'm not competing tonight. I don't have it. How about you throw 97, put it on a black, put it on a corner, and see if the kid can catch up to it. And if he does, you tip his cap. Pitch to him. Get him out. So what if he's wearing you out? So what if he's hitting all these home runs off you? Compete. I hope not a single child... I hope not a single boy or girl playing baseball in the United States sees that garbage. Not a single parent shows it to that kid if the kid is seeing it and saying, it's old school baseball. Let me tell you about the way it used to do it. Yeah. If you start wearing out your opponent, keep your head on a swivel because one's coming right in your chops. And at least it wasn't in the back or at least it wasn't in the head. You just keep it away from the head. Hit him in the ass. Hit him in the back. Put him between the numbers. Showing you that you've got good accuracy. So put it on a corner. Put some movement on it. Rise. Change the, change the eye level. Change the speed. Pitch. Compete. What a bunch of crap. It's too bad. You know what? I'd love to come on the air and talk baseball these days. And, and you know, we always talk about stuff that we love. All of us here. And we hope that you, our listeners and viewers, uh, feel the same way. That's it. We know you got a choice here, and you choosing us means a ton to us. But we also understand what folks might be interested in, might not be, and we tailor our comments in a way and what we talk about. I'd love to come on the air right here and say how um, the Phillies are two back of Atlanta after Atlanta's won a fifth in a row. And again, the Dodgers are manager, the NL uh, defending champs, breaking up a five-game losing streak, and even though Philadelphia's two back, Gave Boston a loss to drop them to 50 over. Yankees are struggling. Uh, Oakland is two back of Houston. How about that? How about that the Yankees could finish 30 games over 500, finish 10 damn games out, and have to play a one-game series, win or lose, win or go home against the Astros? Because the A's are a story? And I'd love for everybody to sit back and go, oh, gosh, this is great. Baseball's awesome. Let me call in. Let's talk about it. But no, anytime that you light up a phone when you talk about baseball, it's when the dumbass unwritten rules become uh, employed, a fight, the shift. What a bunch of crap. Have I mentioned what a bunch of crap it is? Uh, what a bunch of no. crap. It is. It's also just too bad. We're, we're seeing something historic. I mean, you talked about it earlier. He's the youngest player to – no one in National League history had ever hit two home runs to lead off a doubleheader. This kid did it. You know, he's 19, 20 years old. We're seeing something historic, and it's being just taken away because, like you said, this guy doesn't want to compete. Last kid as young as him to have hit as many home runs to lead off a game was Mickey Mantle. I mean, it's okay. Mantle, Mays, and Aaron the names was the last one to do what he right did now. in the doubleheader in terms of bases, uh, uh, times, um, extra base hits, times reached base, and a doubleheader. Aaron was the last brave to do it at such a young age. Like he's doing things all-time greats are doing. And like somebody's just like, I'm not competing, I'm just going to hit you. Thankfully, nothing's broken, but there is a CT scan coming. And hopefully, hopefully, this kid, Urenia, has thrown his last pitch in 2018. You want him out for the year. And you got it. You got to sit Manningly, too, because he's the manager. You got to control your players. And, 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 and Manningly should be pissed, too, that anybody sits there and thinks he, he directs this kid. Go up there, just put one in his back. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.